everyone, Gina here with Belly Beats, here today to bring you a tutorial on how to roll my four millimeters dots that I call. And this is code link T like in Tom, 74966. What this means is if you purchased a um, pack of my paper bead strips, it will link you to this tutorial. A lot of beginners, um, I like to help out on how to roll my paper strips. Uh, and a lot of the packages I have, they're multiple paper strips. So I like to show you how I typically um, set my strips out and then roll them. But before we begin, I just want a really quick reminder. Make sure that you moisturize your hands a lot. The paper tends to absorb the oils in your skin and they might crack. So the more, the more moisturizer you have on your hands, the better off you'll be. So let's begin. Now I sell my paper strips on my... Um, my website at bellybeads.com. I also have a paper bead group called Paper Beads Born Pretty and I'll put everything in the link below. So let's get started. I have my paper bead roller. It's five of a 32nd inch of, uh, of a pin. Now any paper bead roller will do but that's just the measurement I'm using for my paper beads today. Purchase these off of Paper Beads Crafts. I'll put that in the link as well. I'm also using a clear Elmer's glue and my container, which I love so much. I know a lot of people have stated that these containers, sometimes the glue will get stuck. Um, I personally always use the stopper, which is the little rubber stopper, and when I'm not using it, I place it back on there. I promise you, it won't do it again. Uh, I also sell these on my website, which is three for a dollar, and it comes with the glue. So let's get started. I do want to mention though, if this gets in the way, you can certainly take this off. All right. Now I package my paper strips all in these bags and they remain straight. So that's a nice thing. They're not curled up when you get them. This is just one strip. I call them dots. They're called tiny dots because they are very, very tiny. And let me just, let me just let you know that they are very, very tiny. Um, so just take your time with them and make sure that you have enough light on it to roll them. These are really great for little spacers uh, on your paper beads, um, on your jewelry pieces. So what, how I begin on before I start, I always condition my paper, which means rubbing my fingers through it, which allows it to get a little bit more curved, a little bit more easier to roll. Grab my paper bead roller. There's a little slit right there in the paper bead um, roller. You want to slide your paper in. Now with these, I highly recommend take your time because they're so tiny. You want to keep your finger on, your index finger uh, on the pin itself. Now a lot, a lot of people, we all roll differently. So however you roll, that's fine. But this is what I do. And as you could see how I'm rolling this, keeping it centered, make sure that you keep it centered. Don't rush it. And when you get to the end, see how that was coming off? I want to get it right in the center there. I just help it along by doing this. I usually put a generous amount of glue. And the reason for that is I like running the glue through the entire bead. And that will help prepare it for glazing. Now I dip my beads and if you like to know how I do this you can check out my other tutorials on dipping. Now look at that. I think that is the most tiniest bead ever. The, the, it's really ironic how it got its name. I was creating jewelry bracelets called Morse Code and I also have a tutorial on that. You should check that one out. I've used these for those special messages and they're also um, they were called dots and dashes and I will show you how to do the dash in my other tutorials but these were really great and um, I'm gonna push this off never pull your bead off because it will unfold push it off nicely and look at that is that the tiniest bead you've ever seen <laughs> and it's very very round and that's my four millimeter dot I call it all right so if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up please and subscribe that really helps my channel and I invite you to uh, my paper bead group, Paper Beads Born Pretty. All right, so have fun. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching my channel.